most people were concentrating on their exams and the GCSEs, A levels, and then to go into university. I was just becoming less and less interested in, in that world and more more interested in the in the in my guitar. <laughs> There's never been any banter. No, but there's no banter. There's lots of banter. What do you want to go now? Up, up, down, down, up. Oh, it's down! That's down. Jordy's down. We can go down then up. Satan! Ah, you're the boss. What's your name? Hey, Jacob. Jacob's the boss. Jacob! 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 Yeah, that's enough about Jacob. It's my birthday tomorrow. Yeah, fuck you, Jacob. and meet uh, Snoozy who made this cake. Amazing lady.
there was one gig I played where someone came up to us afterwards and just went, that was shit. That was shit. <laughs> I'm like, sorry. Like, oh, that was just, it was shit. I'm like, fair enough, you know. <laughs> but they were really, you know, following us round. was absolutely incensed. So that was a sort of a surprise. But it, in general, I'd say it's always a surprise if people are, people are into it. Mm, that's a nicer kind of surprise. Though. I am a brisk lad and my fortune's quite bad. In fact, it is wondrous poor. But it's I do intend my fortune to men. And I'll build me a house down on the moor. Most religious music is interesting in some way. There's usually some kind of tension. I, I liked, I liked that about the sacred harp. People who were going. I mean, some of them were uh, Christians, but some of them were atheists. And I, I like that that there was no problem. You know, they were all just together and singing. It's good that it's loud, visceral music, and full of faults. I like this idea of faults, and you think of like a fault line on the, in the earth it moves whole countries apart and to, together. So fault is important. Uh, so this is a Shirley Collins song, uh, a traditional song, but I heard Shirley Collins' version, uh, which I urge you to check out. This is like a fax of that song, like a crappy photocopy. As I walked over London Bridge One misty morning early I overheard A tender-hearted girl Plead for the life of Jody. Now Jody Rob no store says he never murdered any he only shot a king's white deer all for to feed his family. I think I always thought I was a better singer than I was when I was a young 
guy, like in my teens, and I realise now I was absolutely dreadful and uh, would sing in an American accent for a start, which is commonplace, it's, you know, it's because so much music is American, you learn, you know, you learn by listening. Uh, but even just in terms of, you know, hitting notes and stuff and flats and sharps and uh, so I used to like the, the metal singers, you know, Bruce Dickinson and uh, well, Paul Diano too, you know, that first Iron Maiden albums, incredible. Uh, and then got into Faith No More, and Mr. Bungles, all the Mike Patton kind of stuff. And for a few years I was, uh, particularly with the band as well, was sort of... <laughs> So, <laughs> you like, seriously. No, I just, oh. I just caught your expression. I'm all right if I don't look at you. <laughs> Hit your face. <laughs> so. same boat so once you sing in a crowd of people then even if you move up onto the stage or whatever it's like you're all together so everyone moves up on the stage and I stay down in the crowd even if my body's up on the on the stage the raised upness is is problematic and uh, I uh, understand it's practical consideration so everybody in the room can see it, but you know, yeah, so it's sort of to do with that. Uh, just sm smudging everyone together. I think I like the idea of making visual work because I, I always almost forbid myself to do it because I just didn't think I had the dexterity to. I mean, I can't draw, I can't... Uh, I, can, I, can, I try, but it's rubbish. And uh, um, So it's nice to make something solid. It's, you know, songs are so ethereal. I've had this uh, hereditary condition called excellent retinoschisis or juvenile retinoschisis. So it's a little bit like macular dystrophy, so it's just getting slowly worse over time, and it just basically means things like uh, I don't have very good depth perception, and uh, colours may be a little different. I struggle at any kind of distance from faces and things like that. But I've got a lot of vision, I've got a lot of sight. So my brother's got it, and he's got very little vision. So when I was younger, I used to get super down about it, and uh, and I was really depressed, and the whole focus of that would would 
would go on on this. But now I like uh, I just don't. I just see it as a completely positive thing now. Aside from the practical elements, which are um, it enabled us to work part time, so I could had more time to practice because of the benefits that you qualify for. You know, uh, disabled living allowance, which they're now attacking. But that's a, another topic, big topic. Uh, so it just meant I had that little bit more flexibility financially to work a little bit less. Uh, so that's the one side of it. The other side is the the actual condition itself. I've be, I've really come to see that as a as a positive thing because uh, one one element of it is that uh, things don't really have definite edges. Everything is a is a kind of a blurs into the next thing. You realise how some people in their thinking can be very fixed and very much about clear lines and borders, metaphorically speaking. You realise you have, through this site, you have a certain um, approach, a certain mindset towards matters other than the physical. You realise things aren't, aren't crisp, that things aren't black and white, that things in life have blurred boundaries and edges and borders. Probably means things are a little less precise. Uh, but I think you get a good overall sense of the whole shape of the thing. Um, rather than maybe getting bogged down in any detail. But then I want to be careful because, you know, the, the detail is so important and the, the taking the time and the kind of rigor to to get things in the right place and get everything flowing together. If I had perfect eyesight, they might come out just the same, or they might come out completely different. You know? I might not be making them at all.